have oh. all right so we're going to do a thin walled pressure vessel problem here we have a spherical vessel and that makes it easy spherical vessel and let's see here we have the inner diameter of the sphere which looks more like a hamburger of eight meters i said eight meters yeah and the internal pressure of two megapascals the diameter of each bolt or diameter of bolts is given to us that we can use is 25 millimeters and then we have the allowable normal stress of the tank material is 150 megapascals and the allowable normal stress of the bolt material is 250 megapascals we want to find the minimum wall thickness and the number of bolts and the thing that we have to remember about a spherical pressure vessel is that the state of stress is always is the same all throughout and this sigma is p r over i believe 2t is the stress this is the state of stress on the wall of a spherical pressure vessel yes okay it's like the uh, cylindrical stress in a in a, in a, I'm sorry, it's like the longitudinal stress in a cylindrical pressure vessel right there. And so let's, let's go, let's start with the, let's start with the stress in the wall. Okay. So really what we're, what I mean here is that if I were to look at any element in the wall due to the internal pressure, I get, you know, PR over 2T. This is my state of stress at any point. Sigma, sigma, where sigma is PR over 2T here and t is the thickness of the wall r is the radius okay the radius of the sphere so let's look at one let's look at one here let's look at wall of sphere and that sphere wall it's that the applied stress due to the applied stress due to the internal pressure sigma applied is less than or equal to sigma allow of the wall okay the wall material and the applied stress is a result of a, a mechanics equation which is uh, pr over 2t less than or equal to sigma allow of the wall of the tank which is 150 megapascals and so we have all these other inf so now we just have to solve for t and that means that t is greater than or equal to uh, PR, which was 2 megapascals, times the radius, which is 4 meters, uh, divided by 2 times 150 megapascals. And that gives me 4 divided by 150 meters, which is, someone have a number real fast, 4 divided by 150? Okay, so 26, if you convert to millimeter, 26.67 millimeters. That was way too easy. Okay. But, of course, you know, it was, it was easy only if you could recognize the design relationship right away, right? The basic, this basic design relationship. So that's, T is great. So you would choose something like, if you're designing this, you would say maybe, you know, T, use T equal to 28 millimeters or 30 millimeters or something that the manufacturer makes, right? Now for the bolts, when you make the bolt here, the bolts, all the bolts are over here. So the bolts go around right here, connecting like two halves, two hemispheres. Is that right? Two hemispheres? Yeah, two hemispheres together right here, okay? So they're connected. So what we have is if I look at the cross section of my, of my sphere, so now I wanna look at the bolts, so two, uh, connecting two hemispheres, two hemispheres. Right here. So if I look at my cross section, if I just look at a 2D cross section, I have here's that lip. I have my hemisphere. Here's the lip. And then I have another lip. And then another hemisphere like this like this right here and the bolts go across right here all the way around okay the bolts go across all the way around and if i were to look at let's say i look at one side of this if i draw a free body diagram so if i have let's see here like this 
right here. And I have here's that lip again, like this. And then the sphere coming like this, like that. Then I have an internal pressure here. And I'm going to draw a circle for that internal pressure, like this, acting on that surface of the cut. Okay? All the way around right here like this. So there's going to be this surface and this the distance is a pressure P. Okay. And this is is the diameter, the inner diameter, the I of 8 meters. And I want to know how many bolts I need to 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 do that, to to make sure I hold this together within the allowable. So so what I have is I have that the um, I'm going to start with the basic design relationship. I have the stress applied must be less than or equal to the stress allowed in a bolt. Okay, stress allowed in a bolt. And oh, you know I don't I don't like that. Let's do how about let's do this. Let's because. The reason I don't like that is I can't include, when I do the stress, I can't, can I include the number of bolts? Huh. Let's see, let's, let's, try, let's try another way. Let's say the force applied due to the pressure has to be less than or equal to the force allowed in the bolt, in one bolt, times the number of bolts. Okay. Right there. And so that means the force resultant of all this red stuff has to be equal to the force resultant or tension. Oh, I should have drawn those arrows. I should have I should have really drawn those arrows like right here. Okay. The force resultant of each of these individual bolts added up, which is you know, all these bolts is n times the force in a bolt, okay? And so here, that force applied is the pressure times the area. So that's just uh, P times the area, which is pi di squared over 4, less than or equal to the force allowed in a bolt. The force allowed in a bolt is the normal stress, uh, sigma allowed in a bolt, times the area of a bolt times the number of bolts okay and now we can solve for we know this is what was it 250 mpa we know that this is pi over 4 times 25 millimeter squared and then we know that the pressure is uh, 2 megapascals and the diameter is, I'll just use units of millimeters, 8,000 millimeters right there. And so if I, if I doing this algebra, I would get, um, oh gosh, this would be N is greater than or equal to 2, uh, new, two megapascals times pi times... 8,000 millimeters squared divided by 4 divided by 250 MPA divided by pi over 4. Hey, look at how that worked out. 25 millimeters squared. And can some, so that cancels, the units cancels. Can you, someone give me a number for that? Eight hundred and nineteen point two bolts are required, so n has to be greater than eight hundred nineteen point two bolts. But you can't use point two of a bolt, you know. So that means you would say use eight hundred and twenty bolts, right? Okay, and that's that. There you go.